Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I hope you all had a great New Year celebration. Um, we sure did. We spent the day with family and at night with really good friends. Um, as the chiming of the New Year came in, I was actually sitting and observing everyone um, pass around and give uh, hugs and kisses and saying Happy New Year. And uh, I was noticing that there were people actually crying for the passing of the year and at the same time rejoicing for the new year that lies ahead and everything that it promises. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, it was really kind of strange for people to actually be crying for um, the end of the year because, you know, a new year starting all over again um, in a, a matter of speaking. And, um, like I said, you know, I was just sitting there and it so hit me. I started thinking about what this new year means for me. This new year for me means my surgery is going to happen soon, this very month. Uh, hopefully next week I'll find out exactly when my surgery day is. And um, yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about what that actually meant. You know, besides how tough it's going to be at the beginning, if at all it is going to be tough, um, pain that I'm going to be going through, adjustments that are going to um, continue to happen in the house as far as food is concerned. Um, but I also started thinking about what else it means, you know, and it means a whole new life and I started getting excited and nervous at the same time and it just it took over and I found myself fighting the urge to cry because I felt so emotional and um, someone actually told me, you know, Leanne, you're crying. And I said, no, I'm not. Um, you know, so defensive. And the person was like, you have a tear on the corner of one of your eyes. And I, inside, I was like, oh, my God. One actually snuck out. And, I, you know, I just played it off. And I said, no, it's, you know, glitter or whatever, but not a tear. And the person, um, you know, just left it alone. But... Yeah, I uh, found myself so emotional, and it was weird for me um, to react that way for an upcoming new year, but yeah, that's what happened, and, you know, and it's uh, unbelievable. And this year, for um, a lot of us, it you know, it brings a lot of stuff. Uh, for some of us, you know, it's... Um, the bringing of a, of a new life, you know, those of us that are going to have surgery or those of us that had surgery in December, you know, this is the beginning of, of a new life, something completely different. Um, not to mention that everyone around us is also going to be affected because, like in my family, people are going to actually start to have to see me different. They're not going to be able to see me, you know, as this huge person that needs um, certain types of comfort. Um, so, yeah, not to mention, you know, other changes that um, will be coming as far as my energy is concerned and uh, how I feel about going out. So it's going to be a, it's, that's a big deal. A lot of us are going to actually start seeing our weight loss goals. Um, maybe not be completed, but certainly on the way. 
and that's good enough. For um, other people, it's um, an array of different and new experiences. It's just um, incredible. I've never actually felt this way about the coming of a new year. And of course, hope and faith always, always has to be there because that's the only way that, you know, we can manage to get through anything. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to mention. I also want to share my personal view of, um, not, uh, I don't want to say that it's uh, my, um, my resolutions because everyone always breaks their New Year's resolutions. But I do have a list of, let me see, I have it written down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items that um, this New Year is uh, bringing for me. And uh, at least six of them are pretty right on the money and are definitely going to happen. <laughs> So, um, the first one is my surgery. Yeah, I'm having surgery this month, and that's definitely something that's going to happen. Um, it's, uh, the number two is, um, life-altering physical changes. Yeah. Uh, problems that I'm having right now physically are, um, going to change. Uh, some of them are going to absolutely disappear and others will at least get to a point where I can manage um, with minimal pain. So that's good. Um, continued personal inner healing. Yes. Um, I don't get to see the psych as often as I used to now and um, that's okay because ever since um, I started doing these videos, I kind of feel like I'm doing my own personal therapy. So I'm really glad about the decision I made to do these videos and to share them. Or even if no one's watching them, it doesn't matter. I'm doing them for me. They help me out. And I certainly plan on doing a lot more videos, hopefully before I have surgery, where everyone will get to know me much better and also so that I can let out a lot of feelings that have made it impossible for me to um, reach the life that I actually wanted. Uh, number four, new family adjustments. Yes, this goes under the category of everyone having to see me in a different way. Because, like I said, you know, it's going to be a land that has more energy and is going to be doing more things on my own, not needing help. Um, I'm going to be socializing more. Yes, I plan on doing a lot more socialization, not uh, staying home as much. Uh, so when the opportunity comes to do something, I'm going to do it uh, and uh, definitely be more open to meeting new people. And I skipped to my second one, which was, uh, I put here, participate more in family gatherings and outings. Yes, because I do tend to stay home a lot because I'm just simply not comfortable um, going out. So, I do a lot of home, staying home, but that's going to change. And the last thing I have on my list is the acceptance of love in my life. Yes. That is something that um, I'm not overly anxious about, but it's a desire that I want. And it's not necessarily something that I want to happen this year. But I am ready for it um, in the future. So yeah, that's um, a couple things there. 
and uh, I just hope that everyone had a great Happy New Year, Zeev celebration, and blessings to everyone. Bye.